number 8 of 1500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter. Follow us there and we also have an Instagram and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram. I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com, thank you oh so much. You are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information and more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. Part, part two. Part two of the uh, economic migrants uh, crisis. Economic migrants manufactured crisis that's better manufactured crisis okay so what we have we have like a globalist leftist they don't really care about the outcomes of their very very ignorant and very very arrogant kind of moral narcissism no they don't care how many people die and lives they totally destroyed by the the communities that their policies have kind of destroyed and uprooted everywhere you know it's Harking back to, is it Jimmy Goldsmith's The Track? Anyway, The Trap, right? The Trap by Jimmy Goldsmith. Something like, nobody really cares. They just want maximum efficiency for them. For them and their money and, and their narcissism or their moral self-worth and, you know, to hell with all the problems that's caused. To hell with that. Just, just, they're small people, you know. The main political force in a democracy should be, should be the society, right? In any democracy, in any society, the main... The main political force should be the majority of the passive people, right? But it's somehow it's disproportionately the the middle and upper class with the with the with the, with the god complex, right? That's completely out of whack. It's it's inverted. It's 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 not on track for any sort of any sort of optimal worthwhile eudaimonia kind of human flourishing of the whole. You know, it should be democracy society the majority of the mostly apathetic polity right you know but you know the people who have sufficient financial resources to be idealistic right when you're wealthy you, you can afford to pay higher taxes and, and live in rich communities completely just away from the things you preach you know so like where, where crime isn't really an issue you know and and like you can ignore slipping educational standards since you can send your children to private schools, right? This is this is the classic let them eat cake. Let them eat cake scenario, right? Where wealthy confuse their own circumstances and their own interests with circumstances of the rest of the population. No, no, that's not on, no. So like, here's another thing. Okay, so like talented, skilled workers jettison their, their, their locally necessary jobs and they wind up in, they wind up in Parisian banlieues, prime targets for radicalization, whether Islamic or not. Or they leave for London with its freer labor market, only, only to work as uh, toilet attendants, you know, living off tips because they don't have any papers, you know, living in Deptford where their children are at high risk of, of joining gangs. And, and these these are the lucky ones who survived the treacherous journey through Africa and the Mediterranean and, and across Europe as well, across mainland Europe. So like, Africa is doomed if Europe keeps enticing its young like this. It's about, it's about incentives, okay? People tend to forget the economics and lead with their ill thought out altruism which is you know it's not real altruism if it's all about yourself okay so forgetting that the road to hell can be and often isn't usually always is paved with good intentions right but it's the road to hell nevertheless so this is becoming more and more acute in the internet age because every information is always on it's always on so everyone around us everyone around the world is constantly connected to the wealthy world so it's like I'll tell you what, so like, okay, so and, and with images and bling and celebrity and lifestyles and Instagram and, and those dreams of a dreams of a better, more equitable life, it seems that much closer and that much attainable when you can just access it from your pocket 24-7. This is not to mention the 
irreversible damage that mass migration does to the welcoming country, right? Effectively creating mini nations, otherwise known as ghettos. Ghettos within previously stable countries. You see, you see, you see the difference in policy between, say, say Malmo, 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 or and mm, Taipei, right? Malmo and Taipei. So, in significantly multi-ethnic liberal democracies, people vote by tribe. This cannot be stressed enough. It's just always, always the case. So, like, they vote by tribe, which trends towards illiberalism, okay? It trends backwards towards illiberalism. This is tested time and time again with so much evidence, but which is just too blinkered to see, or just a lack of courage, to be honest. With mass migration, you create these ghettos inside your country. It's just bizarre. It's like, just as Aristotle said, any virtue taken too far to its extreme will become a vice, okay? Lovely multi Multiculturalism is a wonderful thing. Mass multiculturalism, of desperate, dis, disparate, not desperate, disparate people. However, is a horror show. It's a horror show for liberalism. It's a horror show for democracy. And you see the discrepancy between the people it affects, the concern, and the people it doesn't affect. You have absolutely no concern. That's the arrogance. That's the ignorance. So, like, so <clears throat> it does trend towards illiberalism. You know. Because of the need to to carefully manage everyone's delicate sensibilities, right? Right? So, you notice the vast majority of these people they claim to be refugees weren't even children. Now that is a sinister part of it. That's when you're trying to manipulate people's emotions. That's like, that's that it really is some 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 nerve. Some, you know, you notice how. The vast majority, some of these weren't even weren't even refugees, They're, you know. But like I said, there's one clear-cut policy decision that is proven to stop this madness abruptly. But you won't hear it from anyone. You won't hear it. You know, people will pack up and leave for better pastures whenever there is welcome sign on the other end. You know. Lack of clarity once again. So, economic migrants from vastly different, differing cultures and nations risk everything sooner they hear the gates are open. Right? You know what happens when you mix all these people together and permit them to act freely? It's liberalism, right? But they revert back to tribe. Some of them, mostly the ones who don't assimilate wealth well, they don't. They don't. Not everyone does. You know, we're all different because that's diversity, that's variety. So some will revert back to tribe and compete over resources. So multiculturalism and liberalism do not mix, you know, the rational and empirical and authoritarianism are all in conflict. So learn from history. Do some groups of Solomonic better? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Some generations, yeah, 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 of course, you see that. Absolutely, yes, indeed. The reasons why we have to, reason why we have separate nations and regional clusters in the first place is because people, people, because groups have different optimal modes of living that request to be actualized. They, they want to live a certain way. It's, you know, it's it's ethnocentric to think your way is the best, and that all and sundry will one day get to see just how wonderful your society is. You know, and just be like you. You know, people. People may aspire for, for your wealth and prominence and civilization. It's, it's an entirely different matter, right? But, but what happens to the local legacy population when you push too far against their livelihoods? They organize and they prepare and they prepare themselves for what they see as inevitable conflict. You know, is this really what you want? Is this really what you want? You know, masochism? You know, what is it? Can't we at least go back five generations before we cock it up again? Let's give us a longer longer time frame doing good 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 before tearing it up again you know so how many conflicts do we need to have within a hundred years span to finally get to grips with what is real human nature you know the current policies of the west sustainable absolutely not and it does it it does it do anything to help very countries those people who are emigrating from evidently no 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 somebody needs to put a halt to just as the people demand, right? So people want actions now before before it gets too late. And then that's 
danger, danger zone, you know, so, you know, what's going on here, you know, it's like the demonizing rhetoric, you know, cries of racist, cries of fanatic, cries of fascist, don't even know what fascist means, people demanding their own freedom, no, that's not fascism, to, to, to demand you be free and exercise your will just like they be free and do their soul. We all like each other, we just want to respect each other. Idiots talking about things they don't understand, right? Just aping norms and customs on people they think are superior. Nonsense, I'm not having any of that. You know, as if, as if, as if the political spectrum ever meant anything besides, you know, respect for people's livelihoods, you know. I don't have that. Time to start loving your citizens and your fellow citizens all around the world. You like you love Japan, you love Korea, you love Taiwan, you love Israel, you love Switzerland, you love Norway, you love Denmark, you love Poland, you love Czech Republic, and you love and you love Hungary. You love everyone, right? And you you won't have much of a country left in a couple of generations' time if you don't actually think things clearly and carefully with clarity. You know, logically, with all the evidence we know, don't just use belief and and your own new, weird, twisted, kind of creepy religion to hide the fact that you're not actually thinking. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know, so you don't find some of this antagonism for wealthy, liberal, democratic values amongst some Filipinos, right? Or some Korean immigrant communities. And yet, yet there was... A hysterical outcry from some people when the leader of the free world decided to limit the numbers from some illiberal kind of intolerant kind of theocratic cultures you know, entering our very very fragile societies right because there was intelligence from previous administrations that said we have a threat a legitimate credible threat of certain things happening right but you know the Koreans the Taiwanese the Japanese they figured it out they figured it out security dependent on the cultural fit so why aren't we allowed to say it why aren't we allowed to exercise our right to live by our values just as saudis do and the persians do and everybody else does why can't we why can't we you know people didn't emigrate here to the west only to be held by the very same backwards lower standards as back home no 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 we actually like the west we we have citizens in our own countries after three generations who are kind of regressing back to a kind of third world kind of mean that their ancestors would never have stood for because the ancestors preferred it in the west they wanted to live like us they don't they wanted to live like us they want to be like the rest you know because we haven't held them to same standards that we have us we haven't we haven't held them accountable we're not we're not looking at them as if they are brothers and our family no we're trying to other them and say you can do what you want you know if you have a separate society we'll segregate you you will get a wise you you know have your own little laws you know that's that's not for us well you can stay with us just so like it makes us feel good and and like we kind of control you if you want you know no no that's that's not cool you know if you cannot be honest enough if you cannot be honest enough to treat people equally and raise everyone up in universal values, then stop importing on mass those communities, those individuals that prove unable to self-regulate and adapt to a, a modern, wealthy, liberal, democratic society. There are modern societies that are not liberal, not democratic, but nevertheless still modern. Some of them came from these countries. But the, what we have is a respect for the individual and the rule of law and and a certain respect between the sexes and all sorts of stuff, which come from a lot of it has come from come from teachings of Christ and and the period of the Enlightenment where we we started to discover what we could discover, what we were capable of, but we need we needed that kind of foundation of Christ, right? Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in, in another way. So every day I will, I will endeavor to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives, or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all collage of thoughts. 
I will do one a day. If it takes if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day, just so I can get the 1,500 of them done. Maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people. It's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some, and that that is enough. So I I want I need to fund this, and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours. We have 15 colours on the website. I hope you're watching on the website. You can just, you can, you can buy now, here, and here, and here, and everything is, is just very straightforward. Uh, and also, it will, it will show the community of people who do like to think. The community of curious, curious, curious people. Who don't, who don't take themselves too seriously, but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously. And it's, it's, just, it's wonderful to have this community. So I will, I will post on Instagram, some of you who want to be posted on the Instagram, so you get a bit of Insta fame. That's if you, when you buy the t-shirts, upon points of sale, I will get into contact and say, hey, would you like to be featured on our Instagram? And we have a whole list of the community. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. And thank you for supporting and here is the link and thank you so much.